using monoclonal antibodies in pregnancy tests by kscience.com. This here is a woman. And the first identifier to identify whether or not she's pregnant will be in her urine. This here is a sample of her urine. And in the urine is a hormone called HCG. So the purple dots represent the hormone HCG. This is a hormone only found in a female's body when they're pregnant. And if she's not pregnant, her urine will contain no HCG. So this is her urine sample with no HCG in it and she's not pregnant. So how can she tell if she is pregnant? Well, she's going to use a pregnancy test, which you'll urinate on. And that's going to utilize the HCG that is in the urine and tell her whether or not she's pregnant. This here is a pregnancy test. This is what they look like in real life. And you'll urinate on one part of it. And then after a few minutes, either one blue line will appear, which will say you're not pregnant, or two blue lines will appear, which will mean that you are pregnant. What we're going to look at now is how monoclonal antibodies are used in pregnancy tests. So imagine that we've taken all the casing off the pregnancy test, and this is what the technology looks like inside. So the woman is going to urinate on the part of the pregnancy test where you're supposed to urinate on it. And because she's pregnant, there's going to be the hormone HCG in her urine. So that is also then going to be transferred via the urine onto the part where she urinates on. And the urine is going to move through this first part of the pregnancy test. And the urine is going to move through this first part of the pregnancy test. And because she's pregnant, there's going to be the hormone HCG in her urine. So inside this part, you're going to find blue dye beads. These are beads of blue colored dye. And attached to the blue beads are monoclonal antibodies specific for the HCG hormone. So these are the monoclonal antibodies that I'm drawing now that are specific to the HCG found in women's urine when they're pregnant. So these are blue beads that are dye. And these are monoclonal antibodies specific to the HCG hormone. The urine with the HCG hormone in it is going to move through this part of the pregnancy test. And because these monoclonal antibodies are specific to HCG, the HCG hormone is going to bind onto the antibodies that are on the blue beads. So these purple dots represent the HCG hormone and the HCG binds the monoclonal antibodies attached to the blue beads of dye. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the next part of the pregnancy test is going to be the test strip. These antibodies that I'm drawing are monoclonal antibodies for HCG, but these are stuck down to the in the test strip. So these are monoclonal antibodies for the same antibodies for HCG, but these are stuck down in the test strip. So the same antibody for HCG are stuck down in the test strip. So the urine now containing the blue beads that have the monoclonal antibodies attached to them with the HCG attached to the antibodies, they're now going to move along the pregnancy test. So the urine now containing the blue beads that have the monoclonal antibodies attached to them with the HCG attached to the antibodies they're now going to move along the pregnancy test. So as you can see here, the blue beads with HCG bound to the antibody move to the test strip. So the HCG that is attached to the antibody on the blue bead will then also attach the antibody that is stuck down in the test strip. So the blue dye does not move now. The blue dye is now stuck. So remember, the HCG that is bound to the antibody on the blue dye binds to the antibody 
stuck down in the test strip. The beads in HCG bind the antibody and the beads stay in the test strip. The beads in HCG bind the antibody and the beads stay in the test strip. So these blue beads are going to turn the test strip blue. So these blue beads are going to turn the test strip blue, indicating the woman is pregnant. So this here is the first line of two that needs to appear for her to show that she's pregnant. So this line will turn blue, as you can see here on this pregnancy test. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. For the pregnancy test to confirm a pregnancy, there needs to be two lines that appear blue. So the next line is going to be the control window. So the blue dye beads with the HCG attached to the antibodies are going to move down through the first test strip because all of those antibodies have been bound to. So they're going to flow through into the control window. In the control window, are antibodies to the antibody on the bead. So these antibodies are not specific to the HCG. These antibodies are specific to the antibody for HCG. These antibodies are specific to the antibody for HCG. So when the blue beads move through the test strip into the control window, the antibodies on the blue beads are going to bind onto the antibodies that are stuck down in the control window. So these blue beads are going to bind onto antibodies in the control window. The antibodies on the blue beads are going to bind onto the antibodies that are stuck down in the control window. So these blue beads are going to bind onto antibodies in the control window. This will cause the control window to turn blue due to the blue beads remaining stationary in the control window. So the control window will turn blue even if the test strip is positive or negative. So the test hasn't worked if the control window doesn't turn blue. The test hasn't worked if the control window doesn't turn blue. So if the test strip turns blue but the control window doesn't, you must take another test. If there are no lines present, you must take another test. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what happens if a woman is not pregnant? Well, she's going to get her pregnancy test thinking she might be pregnant and then she's going to urinate on the part of the pregnancy test where you're supposed to urinate. So there's no HCG in her urine. These here are the blue beads with the monoclonal antibodies for HCG attached to them. And this here is the test strip whereby the antibodies for HCG are stuck down. The urine without HCG now moves through the first part of the pregnancy test. But because there's no HCG, the HCG can't bind with the monoclonal antibodies attached to the blue beads. So the blue beads just carried along down the pregnancy test without any HCG attached to them. The blue beads with the monoclonal antibodies attached to them now enter the test strip because the urine has carried it there. But they don't bind the antibodies in the test strip. So remember, no HCG binds the antibody and the blue beads get to the test strip. There's no HCG bound to the antibodies on the blue beads. So the blue bead doesn't bind the antibody in the test strip. So the test strip does not turn blue because there is no binding 
of HCG attached to the blue beads to the stationary antibodies that are stuck down in the test strip so that it does not turn blue. It remains colourless. The beads are then transported into the control window and the antibodies on the blue beads bind the antibodies stuck down in the control window. The beads are then transported into the control window and the antibodies on the blue beads bind the antibodies stuck down in the control window. This means the control window turns blue. So the woman is not pregnant, as you can see, because there is no blue color change in the test strip. And we know that test has worked because the control window has turned into a blue color. There is a blue colored strip here in the control window. The control window turns blue because the blue beads have stayed in the control window because the antibodies bind the antibodies that are stuck down in the control window. The control window turning blue shows the test has worked. And if it didn't turn blue, she should throw it away and use another one. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.